Ceasefire between Israel and Hamas appears to be holding after nearly two weeks of carnage in the Middle East. And today we're speaking with a South Florida family who just came back from Israel. Our senior political reporter Michael Putney in a news room with more on this. Michael. Uh, Louis, Denise and Ofer Tamir of Northeast, Northeast Miami-Dade just got back from Israel. They have family there, travel regularly, but this time they got caught in the fighting. Well, there are no winners in wars. Ofer Tamir was born in Israel and is proud of his heritage, but not without sympathy for innocent Palestinians. My heart breaks for every innocent person who died. Denise Tamir is an attorney, mother of two, and daughter of a Holocaust survivor. You okay, Safka? The Tamir family was eating at this Tel Aviv restaurant last week when sirens sounded. Missiles from Gaza started whistling overhead. The Iron Dome fired back. Their daughter shot this cell phone video. We all got into the uh, shelter and just you, you can hear because at that time there was, it's not what we got used to in, in the past. You can hear almost the 30 or 40 uh, interception of the Iron Dome. The Tamir say they are proud the Israeli Defense Force issues warnings to Palestinians before Israeli jets attack high-value targets. The Hamas missiles, however, are aimed indiscriminately at Israel. The fact that Israel has developed unbelievable technology to protect their civilians, you know, only bodes, uh, you know, you want to just salute the IDF and the ingenuity that came up with a way to protect their people. The toll from the fighting is high. 12 Israelis killed, 300 wounded. 260 Palestinians are dead, more than 3,000 wounded. The ceasefire is holding, but peace is not in sight. We live in a place that it's almost like a jungle. If you're strong, you survive. If you are not, you die. We'll be strong. He says Israel will be strong, and that is his history since 1948. Of course, the dispute between Jews and Arabs over this land goes back centuries. Michael Putney, Local 10 News.